Alrighty, five days to go. This is absolutely insane. We are getting so close. And today's video, I'm really excited about. I don't know if everyone's going to be super excited about it, but I am. I love talking about the future and what it holds and just business in terms of Canada's Wonderland. And this is that video. Nonetheless, what is going to happen with Canada's Wonderland due to the success of events like Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland and also things like global warming? Many of you can notice right now that the weather is getting extremely hot in the summer. And while they're open during Winterfest, it's extremely cold. And what are people looking to do? They're looking to move indoors, escape, get some air conditioning, get some heating in the winter have more attractions open in the winter. So what does that mean for Canada's Wonderland? It means more indoor things. It is so obvious that Canada's Wonderland is going to start building indoor attractions. They're gonna start building indoor seating, like restaurants. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a Fosthaus coming to uh, Canada's Wonderland uh, very shortly. It just makes sense. So um, in today's video, I'm just gonna quickly go over what I could possibly see coming to Canada's Wonderland based off of this. And just like, wow, talking about the huge success that Canada's Wonderland had with Winterfest and what that means and what we can expect. So with Winterfest being such a huge success at Canada's Wonderland, it is no uh, brainer that it's going to expand. In season two that we see at every single Winterfest that have already progressed to season three in the Cedar Fair chain, we're gonna see a parade. You already see that new white tent in the parking lot back near Behemoth's Helix, and that is most likely a parade tent. There's gonna be a parade floats, they're probably gonna have a parade, and it can be multi-use so they can have parades in the summer. Does it make sense to have it in the summer? I don't really see how they could do it with the crowds that they get, but I mean, Winterfest is just as busy. So we know that there's gonna be a parade coming to Canada's Wonderland for Winterfest. We know that there's gonna be a fast Haas probably added in the coming years, if not in 2022 due to Winterfest. You're gonna see a lot of these additions that have maybe been postponed uh, a couple years moved up due to the success of Winterfest. You're gonna see a fast house. You're gonna see probably an indoor dark ride in like a flying theater. It just makes sense. You're gonna see a lot more rides experiment as well. We were hearing rumblings almost a year and a half ago now, near the end of Winterfest in 2019, that Flight Deck might be uh, getting ready to start practicing for Winterfest. Now, I don't know if I necessarily believe that rumor, but we were hearing that Flight Deck was becoming an option and that Winterfest was going to expand outside of that current area that, that you saw in the park map. So, what are my predictions for 2021? I'm not quite sure. The reservation system isn't doing so hot this year in terms of Canadians rushing to get back into Canada's Wonderland. Now, uh, based off of my DMs, there are a lot of Canadians and Ontarians that don't know how to book a reservation and who are also expecting that they can just show up at the park. So I think once things start to become a little more known <laughs> the reservation system will take off but at this current moment it's looking like Canada's Wonderland isn't the hot ticket item for uh, Ontarians and Canadians I think a lot of people are actually heading across the border waiting for that which is crazy I mean I know I am I know a lot of my friends are so I guess that might be what everyone's really looking forward to is spending any money they saved on a vacation um, but I still expect Canada's Wonderland to do well, especially when restrictions are lifted. It is, again, a huge attraction, and it's always done well. Um, it's just this year, I, I was expecting a little better in terms of not being able to find a reservation, but I guess that works in my favor, being able to find a reservation. But nonetheless, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think Canada's Wonderland could add or would add uh, to help with people trying to escape the cold and escape the heat in the summer? and uh, where do you think they might be located? I know one thing for sure coming in 2022 and where it's located, uh, but you guys will learn that on July 5th, um, and I can't wait to discuss it because I've been dying for this to come to Canada's Wonderland, and I'm just super excited about it. But yeah, again, I wanted to go over just a cute little fun video for my countdown, what I expect to happen to Canada's Wonderland due to the heat and due to Winterfest's success, indoor attractions, indoor eating, bigger renovations on indoor eating, just lots of stuff coming, more rides testing, more rides that are capable. We saw with Carowinds, they added Copperhead Strike, and one of the main things they did was it's capable of running in the colder temperatures. Now we're talking Carowinds, that's a whole 
different ball game. Like their winter is warm compared to ours. So finding rides that can run in our winter, different story. But nonetheless, those are things that I expect um, to happen to Canada's Wonderland. Very simple, very realistic, very seeable in the future. Anyone that understands business and what Canada's Wonderland's Winterfest numbers would mean and translate into would understand that we're going to see a lot more indoor attractions and venues being built in this park and you're going to see them added very quickly. It's going to almost going to be like a little rush because when you have something that was so successful and they know that they can build on top of it, you're going to see investments based around that. Nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Five days! Five days until Canada's Wonderland opens. Super excited. Ah! I know you guys are too. I'm reading your comments. I'm trying to respond to as many as possible. Every time I make a video, I'm making these videos after work. And then I go to work the next day and I'm trying to respond on my breaks and just in between rushes and all that. But tomorrow's going to be a little bit of a different story when this video uploads. It's day one of no more lockdown, so I'm going to be busy. So if I'm a little slower at responding right now, just give me time. I promise I'm going to respond. So comment what you think um, this could mean for Canada's Wonderland in terms of additions. What do you think's coming? And where do you think they could be placed? Anyways, thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching my vids. Again, join us in Discord. So many people are joining. It's crazy. We've grown almost like 200 people in two weeks. So let's keep pushing those numbers. It's awesome in there. And I love that all of you are joining. Um, and yeah, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.